Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. So, today, we're gonna need a little bit of money first, but we can get squad sites too now. So that's what we're headed for. After we grab this moolah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that. Let's go ahead and grab the squad size too. I believe we are also waiting on. Spider suit. Advent shield bear. We're not really waiting on anything, actually. Commander, we know so, what's going on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue, but now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. New orders, Commander? No, there's no new orders. Alright, so first things first, we want to end that. I'm thinking about Hunter's Instinct. It's extremely good. But before we do that, do we need to buy anything? Hey, Commander. I can't remember. We need a Gauss rifle. We could totally do that. Arc blade, you know, it's it's kind of whatever. We'll probably get it eventually. I think we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our sniper instead of taking advantage of the three damage on flanking. It's good, but it's not always applicable. Whereas the damage from our sniper will always be applicable, you know, hopefully anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. Well, let's scan for one day. I guess let's make content contact with these guys. We'll scan for one day to let this Advent Shield Bearer go by, because I don't remember what it does. And then we'll go ahead and do that black site. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts. Experimental armor. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various Advent peers. Their armor hmm. is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. Alien encryption or Illyrium? Um... This is the alien encryption. Make that research a priority, Commander. Damn straight. <laughs> Alright, we've made contact. Regional contact located. And now, whenever we want, we can go ahead and go over there. And make contact with those fellows. Let's go launch this mission against this black site. And then we're going to make contact here and try to get that black site done. Maybe not in the same episode, because these missions are generally pretty long. But, um, they need to be done. Now that we can have a full suite of soldiers, lightly wounded one day. Ugh. I hate not having our our top people. One specialist, two grenadiers, and a sharpshooter. Do we really need two rangers? Let's see what else we could do. We need another sharpshooter. Kind of wish our other specialist or grenadier wasn't hurt, but I guess we'll take double ranger. It's not bad necessarily. There's nothing bad about it. I like the idea of you keeping that. I guess this is all right. I mean, until we upgrade our other grenades, there's really no reason to take any other grenade than the uh, normal one. I want one of these people to take the gas grenade though, because the area of effect on it is quite massive. And we have this advanced sniper. Hmm. I mean, can we put anything in there? No, we don't have anything. Well, I guess we're just good to go then. It's a lot easier to set up in this game, I've noticed, which is kind of nice. I've done a few more performance tweaks, so hopefully we don't lag as bad as we have been. I thought it was Wow. No, I <laughs> we got everybody ready. Everybody was ready to go on the mission. They were all like hyped up and stuff, and then we were like, wait a second, wait a second. I, uh, I forgot something back at the base. Oh my god, what did you forget? This has to be so important. Uh, I forgot my tums. My stomach hurts a little bit. You motherfucker. This looks like the same thing we just had. They're like, uh, we'll get back in the damn sky, Ranger. <laughs> This time, begin mission. So this should be our first black site. A little nervous. Not too much though, to be honest. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar. We don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. 
Expect heavy opposition. How heavy is this opposition gonna be? That's the question. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of surprised that they don't have their guns in this screen and they aren't like loading them and checking them and inspecting them. It's, I don't know, it always comes to a surprise to me because that's normally what you see in like all the military movies and stuff is they'll always have their guns right beside them. And then again, I guess I wouldn't expect it for our grenadiers. It's a bit ridiculous. There we go. To the black site. I got a good feeling about this though. We've confirmed the black site is in your immediate vicinity. Damn, that's a long ass way away. Investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. So something I've noticed is your first black site is always extraordinarily difficult. We're in concealment. Every black site after your first one isn't actually very bad. But your first black site that you do is ridiculously difficult for some reason. Or it was the first time I did it, so I'm just assuming it's going to continue to be that way. So the way I think we're going to do this is we're going to collect like almost everybody on the roof that we can. Orders confirmed. On the move. Mainly our sniper and maybe a ranger. Well, probably not a ranger. Maybe our um. Ooh, I hear some money. It's my Walken. Christopher Walken. Hmm. No, don't run that way, you idiot. Okay, I'm gonna bring these two up here for certain. I think we want to go ahead and bring one of our grenadiers up here as well. Who is our highest level grenadier? That's the question. You only have one. You only have one thing. We only brought two, right? Oh man, they're both low level. That's not good. Alright, and everybody else can travel by ground. Position confirmed. I love having the extra soldiers though. It fills me with confidence. Okay, I hear some stuff going on. I don't necessarily know what it is, but I do hear something. Alright, so first things first, I want to see... This person does not have haywire protocol, huh? That's not good. <laughs> Maybe we should just get some vision first. Find out where the other enemies are. And then decide on how we want to deal with this turret. Double vipers in the front. Business in the back. <laughs> Double viper isn't too bad. Kind of deciding what kind of angle I want to take on this guy. I want to be close to the front. But we're gonna need to kill that thing like instantly. I don't know where these guys are gonna go, so I don't really want to get too close. I'm. I think this is gonna be fine though. Got a group of hostiles over here. Okay, we see a mech and an advent soldier. It's a shield bearer, to be specific. Okay, we might we might consider that an option. Just running up there and slicing the uh the robot. As long as we stay overwatched, even if they do accidentally run into us and find us, we should be fine. Alright, we're definitely gonna get this turn underway. The question is how do we wanna start this turn? I think we wanna start this turn by launching a grenade at these two vipers. Because this guy's by a car, so the car's gonna blow up and kill him, probably. We can blow up as much cover that direction as we can as well. Let's see what these guys on top are gonna do. We need to kill this turret. It's on our side, so 
Do we launch a grenade at it is the question. Our sniper has a grenade. Lots of really good shots. I think we're gonna... Hmm, I don't know. We might take our free pistol shot then throw the grenade to take the armor off. Let's just start with this right here. Grenade out! This should this should be pretty good. If it blows up the vehicle and kills that one instantly, it'll be really nice. It looks like it didn't even deal damage. Oh, nope, got both of them. That was really good. Alright, so the mech has been activated, so is the advent shield bearer. The turret has also been activated. And one of our units is still in concealment, so that's pretty good. Let's see how we want to take care of this. See, we do a guaranteed 6 damage if we hit. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. But still have 2 HP. We can also launch a grenade at it. Let's, let's check out our free shot first. What are we looking at? 70% is pretty good. Can you move anywhere without... No, you can't move at all. Without taking away your concealment. Not that it's really a big deal or anything. We could also just try to chop it for 98%. It would, it would leave us in cover as well. Hmm. I'm thinking the simplest thing is just going to be to take this shot with our pistol, throw our pretty much free frag grenade at it, and then just take it down with one of our people up here. Because this will get rid of all of its armor. Um, throw please. D do you not want to throw your grenade? There we go. That was really weird. She's just like, no, that ain't me, dog. All right, so it's died. We knocked it down, which is good. One less thing to worry about. Which means we can bring you up to here. Kind of hoping we saw that in there. What else do we see? Oh, we do see the mech. He's really far back, though. Okay, so we can run and gun to here and get the free flanking shot. This would be full cover, but I get the feeling that this mech isn't going to play nice. So I would mind... Hmm. I think, I think we're going to do that run and gun movement. I don't know if we want to get that close though, because that mech is definitely going to get a flanking shot. You know what? We'll do this and we'll set up a few overwatches. This might. This okay. It doesn't actually activate another pod, which is very very convenient for us. This should be a guaranteed kill. Yep. Just as a thought. Good stuff. Okay. Now we're gonna do some guaranteed overwatches. has expanded their rail network to touch every mm. city center they've built and this looks like the end of the line this could be a little scary area. Area. I'm kind of thinking about giving him aid protocol or a gas grenade no a little too far let's just go and overwatch with you you can't do anything you can overwatch or you might build a grenade but take away a shield do quite a bit of damage yeah, I think this is the right choice. Because the, the worst thing that could happen is he could just sit back and use his grenades at us, but I think with him out of cover, he probably won't want to. Did he just die from cancer? <laughs> he just he just fell over, he's like, and I'm done. Alright, what we got? I hear movement. Sound like it's coming from my left ear, so I really hope it's not from behind me. On my way. We're gonna grab this loot. Who knows how long they've been keeping these storage units running down here. Oh, they're full of people. We got an advanced scope and an expanded mag. That's very good. Active Just kick the, kick the corpse a little bit. No I think we're gonna take a turn to do some overwatches. You're gonna scout up a little bit because you're in concealment. You are going to take her old position. position. Sniper, you just chill. Scanning. You can chill. I like having her up there because she can aid protocol anybody if they're in a precarious situation. I really want to scout with our concealed unit. 
because then our sniper gets a free shot on whomever it may be. The cutscene. Yeah, there's people in those containers. Another turret. I, th I thought I saw a unit down here too. But we only see the turret. But we can take a free shot at it. It's a 51%, but I mean it's literally 100% free because the turret can't see us from this far and it can't see the concealed unit, so. We're just gonna be taking pop shots at it for a little bit. Yeah, I didn't get it! I, I could tell. Combat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're fine just to overwatch. If this drew attention to our sight range, and we have enemies walking to our sight range, they're about to walk into a million overwatches when they trigger themselves. So that would be the best case scenario, to be honest. Uh, seems like a lot of enemies or something. Sounds like something just jumped down from a high area. Oh, Muton Centurion to Advent. They took cover like they knew we were there too. We get a nice shot on him or another shot on the turret. I don't think we're ready yet to do this shot. Hopefully this doesn't activate him. It did. Damn it. I was really hoping that didn't activate him. We're in a decent position though. It's not bad. That guy is really tall. Did you see how tall he was? Holy crap. Talk about intimidation factor right there. Might move our shotgun before we can launch this. No, we can actually launch this perfectly fine from here and it won't destroy his cover. I mostly want to get rid of the shield and just hitting the other guy is just convenient. Alright, we've shredded his armor, the other guy's at 1 HP. We might just throw this gas grenade. Who has it? Oh, camera? Why, why are you going that direction, bro? It's so close to hitting all of them. I think we should probably take the guaranteed kill with the gas on this guy as well. Or we could do a free flanking shot for 80% of his life. Hmm. Not really very good percentages for their other unit here. I don't want to put anybody in half cover though. It's something I really want to avoid. We could do a 77%. 59, 67. Let's try the 77. It's a flanking shot. There's a chance to crit. That's good damage. Alright, now we can get the 2 for 1 grenade at least. I didn't want to bring this character out of uh, stealth until it was like 100% necessary. And I think a double kill with a nade is a good one. I was trying to get a good position where I could cut off his run towards this point because this unit over here is a stun lancer. So if there's a chance for him to run towards us, he's going to. That's why I'm using these overwatches right here. And I can bring you out of the uh, full cover now that the centurion is gone. So we're just overwatching in case this guy feels crazy. They didn't the stop. From the looks of it, they may never have stopped after the invasion. Those containers look like they have self-contained power cells. It could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might still be alive. Covering now. So I'm expecting the stun lancer just to go balls out, as they always do. Like I said, he has half cover right now because he's beside it, but he still got hit, so he's dead. The turret's probably going to shoot at our person in full cover. Hopefully they don't have a very good shot. They do have the high ground advantage though. Nice, they missed. So now we're kind of like in a race against time because he's going to have, it's probably a 60% if I had to guess. Maybe a little bit worse. We just need one of these to connect and we'll be good pretty much. Speaking of something connecting, beautiful, beautiful. 61. Can we get you a little bit closer? This might be a better shot. 71. Come on, baby. Nice. The crit, too. Damn. See, that's why the scopes are so OP on the frickin' shotguns. They're not the scopes, the laser sights. They're almost a must-have, honestly. They're just that damn strong. Alright, we're just gonna move everybody up. I don't wanna do giant blue moves. Or giant yellow moves, really. Because there could still be some bad stuff out there. Matter of fact, knowing my luck in this game, there's definitely some bad stuff out there still. 
I definitely hear some bad stuff. But we don't see the bad stuff. So I want to reload first. Then we'll run you as far as we can. Let's move already. Um, anybody that needs a reload, go ahead and grab one. Because we don't know what we're about to run into here. Everybody else just overwatch. I'm mostly just buying this turn to grab our sniper in position. Look how long it takes to reload that thing. Like 30 seconds over there. Oh, I'm almost done. Just 32 more seconds. The aliens are closing in. <laughs> you think we would have came up with a better design for that by now. The chrysalids are closing in our possession. You'll be fine, dude. Just quit reloading. Understood. Just Moving put out. a bullet in the gun. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you motherfucker. Alright, so if I had to guess, there's probably one more pod outside. And it might be over here to the left. Because I, I definitely hear stuff when it's the alien turn. I still hear stuff moving. It doesn't sound like they're moving far, though. So I want to check to this far left side first. Because... If there is something on the far left side, I'd rather encounter it while we have a full squad outside instead of half the squad inside this building, half the squad outside. Because we see that the objective is inside this building. Which means that we're about to fight some heavy opposition. Damn it. I do that all the time. Sometimes when you press Y, it doesn't let you overwatch unless you click fire first. Okay, they're in the building. We're on top. If anybody has a blue move to the top of the building, we'll, we'll take a look. It has to be one of these two units, probably. No. Let me guess, that's too far for you as well. Ugh. You know what, let's, let's start setting up for a breach over here. We'll do all units for the breach, too. Hmm, this is fine. I kinda want, I don't really want you up here, though. But you can stay here, because we're going to probably need a grenade down that corridor. Shotgunners are always welcome to be up close. And that seems fine for you. And if these units happen to magically jump down off this roof or something, they're just going to run to a fire field. It looks like they're right inside. They're either right inside, or they're literally on the edge of the building staring at me. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see what we see. Okay, nothing yet. Let's go get some vision. And worry about whether they're on the roof or not in a second. I like how the noises are so loud you can actually hear the people talk. So they're pretty much... Okay, they're in here, good. I was actually more worried that they were on top of the roof. Because if you activate the scene, I'm pretty sure all aliens know where you are. So they would have just like run straight down. Okay, so I think we're just gonna do some obvious maneuvers here. Uh, does anybody have shredder ammo? I don't think either of you are high enough level yet. Shredder, you do have shredder. Okay. How about you in the front? Where are you? Hello? Oh, it's you. You have shredder ammo. Okay. That might just actually kill him. Yep, there we go. And then we're just gonna run up and chop this other guy with like a 96% chance or something. It better freaking work. 98% chance. Whoa, whoa! Interesting choice in where you want to go there, buddy. Yeah, did you guys see like the little blood splatter as he put it back in the sheath? It's kind of a uh, kind of badass if you ask me. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and position somebody on the roof, because I'm sure once we go to the evac point, there's going to be enemies there or something. There's always something annoying like that. Excuse me. Let me let me go in the building, please. I, uh, um, um. Wait, I think that was it. Yep, that's it. Well, okay. That building is off limits. Apparently, we can't see through it except for uh, through the roof. This is this is no bueno. I'm really happy we can see through this area, or we'd be really boned. You heard the doctor. 
Secure that canister. I'm on the way, damn son. Give me a break. Just climb all over the alien computers, don't even give a crap. Let's go walk in the green goop too. It looks fun. Heading out. Heading out. Alright. Excuse me. Can I see the roof please? Oh. Copy that. Nice, there we go. It's kind of what we want to do. Let's go ahead and put you in this full cover, right shawl. In the green goo. You'll want to know it's in that goo, by the way. It's really disgusting. I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you if I did. We need to look where our evac point is, too. It might be a really smart idea to have everybody ready to evac. Except for, like, one person. What the hell? Oh, okay, you're not a sniper. Say, that is a peculiar way to do that, Mr. Sniper. Mrs. Sniper, sorry. Oh, it's so annoying. Holy crap. Maybe it'll change the camera. Okay, it did. That's the biggest flaw with this game I've noticed is the camera glitching out quite o quite often. Way too often. I think we're gonna do that. We're just gonna have everybody outside except for one person. Oh no. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Two vipers and a codex? That is so bad. But I think I know how to solve this problem pretty quickly. Two people have already taken their turn, so. You know. Hmm, I really wish we could have this position. Moving to position. We're not gonna get this this turn. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys first. That's smoke. Don't don't give them defense, please. Let's be outside. But I don't want it to destroy dude's cover. Alright, this won't affect our sniper. And this is just going to give our other units better shots, I think. The codex is going to split. There's nothing we can do to change that. But it's going to split into two low HP parts, at least. Oof. Okay, what did he do? He split behind us. That's not bad. So we can probably just go ahead and take care of him. Somebody's probably gonna get choked. How many people do we have? We only have two people with turns, so we physically can't kill enough people to make this happen. 78, 50. That is dashing? Come on, man. That's that's not cool. So we can take a 91% dash, 91. 91. They're all 90s. 70, 60. We could run to this full cover and just blow that guy's head off. Which is probably what we're gonna do. Then he's probably gonna get grabbed out here by the tongue guy. Uh, I don't know how I wanna handle this. Okay, let's just let's make a move. Don't wanna do that. Okay, so. We're gonna do this and get the guaranteed kill on the Viper because these guys are oftentimes. Not always. Oftentimes less dangerous. Actually. No, you gotta be kidding me. Not kidding, you have to be kidding me. Look at this. These are the least useful grenades I've ever seen. You mean I can't fucking put it to where it's gonna hit both of these units right here? There's a, there's no little pixel? That's bullcrap right there. Just send these grenades back to the damn shop. I don't want them. I think I'm gonna kill the Viper. My reasoning behind this is the Codex normally don't shoot, they normally disable your weapons. And then we're gonna attempt to get a kill on one of the Codex anyway. Probably the one behind us, I guess? This should give us a shot and not be flanked by an enemy, I hope. 88, that's pretty good. Alright, so hopefully he just disables our weapons and then this guy misses his tongue shot. That would be the ideal scenario. Man, he has a flanking shot, so of course he's not gonna fucking miss. <laughs> if he missed that, he should be embarrassed. Alright, this guy's teleporting. 
to a pretty good position, actually. And then just overwatching. That's an interesting, interesting idea. I got an idea. This shouldn't trigger this overwatch. If this triggered this overwatch, I'd be extremely surprised. Ah, oh, we don't see him anyway. That's unfortunate. I wanted to go ahead and do a face-off. We'll just go ahead and do this, though. Three damage. Not a... Oh, it's just enough to make him unwrap himself. Very good. Now that he's unwrapped, you can take the 100%. We need to deal with this guy. So, you should be flanking him, since he's pulled you into a position that's advantageous. Oh, you can't see him, can you? Wow. Can you not get hit by... Shadow Stub does not trigger Overwatch. Okay. Good to know. Good. Take your 98% since you, since you don't trigger Overwatch. Now, I don't know why you gotta go into the building, dog. I guess I can't say too much, though. It worked. We'll just go ahead and hopefully get the kill. Three. <laughs> oh, well. We have plenty of grenades left. Um, if we need to, we'll just grenade them. I'd rather not, though, to be honest. Oh, you can just go chop him. 91% is pretty good. If it misses, I'd be a little upset. What? Chop! Bitch! <laughs> Love it. They're, like, they're flanking me. Who is? I don't know, but they're flanking me. Alright, so who do we want to... I guess you'll do it. And everybody else is just going to get close to the evac point, so we can just leave pretty much... Not the turn after, because we probably need to provide cover for our unit. But hopefully the turn after that. Yep, there's no aliens here, so... Blub. Sniper, you can chill up there for a second. Let's go ahead and grab this vial. Give it to me. The black side vial. The black side vial. Oh, pretty lady. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity. No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the I still don't think I would uh, touch it. With the extraction point. That's just me. Alright, so there's gonna be some guys spawning here next turn. I'm just gonna go ahead and overwatch everybody out here. You can't overwatch because you ran. I want to make sure we can get every single person in here. So I'm going to overwatch this turn just to be safe. And then next turn we're going to leave. Or we may kill these guys and see if they have any loot. And then we might leave. Because, I mean, they're going to be bone. We're probably going to kill one if they decide to run anywhere but behind this full cover that they're sitting right on top of. Yep, they decided to make a mistake. Interesting choice. We missed one, but now he's dead. Good stuff. Let's see if you ha do. You have some loot for me? Loot? Only the best. Oh, it's just another one. We'll just leave. I don't feel like sitting around too much longer. No reason to, honestly. Five. It's it's normally three, so when it's not three, I have a mini panic attack. Like, why can't I leave? Let me out of here! No, oh, that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Goodbye. Bye bye. Ready to boogie. Heading home. Heading home. Oh yeah. Pretty successful mission. Did we even take fire? Well, we got shot at, but I don't think we actually got hit. Oh, excellent. Somebody got hit. Oh, the tongue wrap. Damn. Those are almost unavoidable, to be honest, though. I think we did. Look, she's like, yeah. I touched that mysterious vial of goop. <laughs> it may have been moved from humans. It may not have. I don't have the answers. Fucking Rachel Ray, dude. Always killing everybody. That's why you don't fuck with Rachel Ray. All those chef skills really come in handy when dealing with alien apocalypse. I mean, this is just proof. And I didn't make this character, by the way. This character came on the damn game. I randomly got a ranger, and it was Rachel Ray. I love it. Now I just need Bobby Flay and Alton Brown. I'll be good. 
Then maybe Masahara Morimoto, that's my boy. A lightly wounded. You have Phantom, so you can go ahead and take Shadow Strike. I like diversifying a little bit. I like Haywire Protocol, it's very useful. We could have stunned that uh, one of those mechs or one of those turrets last time. And I think Suppression's way better than Demolition, personally. Only Lightly Wounded is really well, too. I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. Commander. Now seen the inner workings of the Black Site facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. Your effort in destroying the alien Black Site was commendable, but I fear the worst is yet to come, Commander. Yeah, me too, actually. Vigilant. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Don't worry, I'll upgrade. Damn, son. Alright, so we got a new soldier. Let's go ahead and... I should have hit view facility, actually, damn it. We'll go ahead and put us another rookie in there. We have another grenadier, so... I think we need another specialist, and the last one, I don't know what we're gonna do. What do we want? Team dies really when we grain around. Tactical bonuses for two turns. Ability on their first two turns of combat when the squadron remains concealed. Vulture. I think we want Hunter's Instinct. That's un that's so incredibly useful. It adds three damage to both your sword chops because you're technically flanking the target most of the time, and it also adds three damage to your shotgun run of guns when you get the nice flanks. And three damage is a frick load. Advanced explosives. Okay, what did we get? We got upgrade smoke bombs, acid bombs, gas bombs. That's extremely good. I kind of want to try this experimental armor because I don't really know what that is. The screen protocol. What's this? That looks music capable of disabling them. Huh. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and try the experimental armor, because I don't remember what that is. Hopefully it's good. I'll send word when the project is complete. Damn straight you will. Let's keep making contact. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Let's review our targets. Hidden event. Places hidden faceless aliens on each mission. That's pretty annoying, but we we do need supplies, but not like crazy amount. Scientists are always welcome. And here's the thing: hidden events can be another block on the Avatar project, and that would be terrible. It'd be really really bad. Look at all these high level people we have ready to go. It's good. It's real good. We don't need two rangers. As much as I do love me some Rachel Ray. We'll take the double grenadiers, I believe. And double specialists. The reason I'm going to take double specialists is... First, we're making utility items available. And then we're going to give them the Skulljack. The nice thing about the keeping the Skulljack on somebody with high hack... Let's see, you have 65 plus 20, what does the other person have? Okay, let's just go back and click on the damn character. <laughs> 60 plus 20, okay, that's good. So 65 plus 20 is going to be a little bit higher. Um, you can skull mine advent soldiers for information about getting good. Sometimes you can find black sites and stuff. Extremely good information to have. So we got some new goodies I want to put on somebody's weapon. The Gauss Rifle obviously needs something. You have Expanded Mags. And Aim. Let's just give you super ridiculously high aim. And let's let's make it look pretty and give it a name too, actually. I see you. All together. It's gonna be... Blue. With a sick-ass pattern. Schmog. Yosh. 
Yeah, that looks badass. Holy crap. Okay, our shotguns, I'm pretty sure, are... Oh, no, this one needs one. Advanced laser sight, of course. We could probably give you a higher magazine. Because we don't want you missing. Like, the stocks are going to be on people. Actually, I want to name this weapon as well. Because this weapon has the higher crit chance on it. Just something I'll remember. Crit and red for high crit chance. With some kind of arid. Why not? Looks pretty. Is cool. We still haven't customized any of the characters, but I don't really have anything in mind. Like, they all have their own personalities, and they've all been pretty cool as far, so... You have double stuff on yours. How about you? I wouldn't mind putting a stock on this, so if you do miss your shot, it won't be the worst in the world. At least you'll deal with single damage. We don't need to name that. That's nothing crazy big. If it was a th level 3 stock or something, maybe, but until then, it's nothing crazy big. Now that we have the upgraded ones, let's see, this is 5 to 6, 5 to 6. This is. Poison. And this is acid. I'm assuming acid deals more damage, but poison has a longer, or a larger radius. I think is how that works. I'm not 100 certain. I'm gonna give them both. Uh, since these grenades are upgraded too now, I don't think it's a bad idea to give it to them. Yeah, they deal the same damage. They just have little special effects on them. We have somebody with the aid protocol that has a bunch of more goodies. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Let's do it. This is an extremely strong team right here. This is the A team if I've ever seen the A team. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. If we do this mission without any any deaths, well not any deaths, but any injuries, it wouldn't surprise me, honestly, unless they throw something new at us. It looks like a data vault. Probably stowed aboard one of their trains. Initial analysis suggests the data may be tied to the aliens' latest project. So we're moving in to lock it down. Are we? Do we have to go lock it down? I don't want to lock it down. Protecting the train, then seize the assets by whatever means necessary. Whatever means necessary. So, you say, if I see a civilian tinkering with that train, I just I go buck wild on him. Is that, is that they said whatever means necessary. What if I see one of my own soldiers taking a whiz by it, and they might short circuit it? Just take them out. Is that cool? I mean. Whatever means necessary seems a little ridiculous. They should say, you know, I mean, don't be an asshole about it, but get it. <laughs> D be an asshole to the aliens. Alright, looks like we start in concealment. We see a turret on top of that. That's actually really nice to see. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, so our sniper is going to get a really good position on top of this train. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any. This should be pretty good. At least not where anyone can see it. Heading to that location. Okay, and everybody else is just going to overwatch. Overwatch. I like our one French lady. That's awesome. Hey, right, we hear some people walking. I can't really tell by the footsteps. They sound just like troopers. Normally it's like heavy metallic clanks if it's robots and stuff. Okay, we don't really see anything. I like this train more though, because that's cover. So, let's go get in this cover. We're going to find some enemies, it looks like. Hopefully we don't run right through them. Alright, we found some. It's a shield bearer and a mech. It's just a level 1 mech though. Like, we are so overpowered right now. I think I want to bring whoever has, yeah, the Skulljack up here as well. Running. Why am I doing that? Well, I see a hack target over there, and also we might be able to talk to that trooper via his mind, of course. We still have seven turns. Pretty good. All we have to do is get there and disarm it too, so it's not bad. And we have two specialists this mission. So the odds of us getting close enough to just send our drone in are pretty good. Okay, first things first. Let's see what we can get from this uh, scanny doodad. If it's nothing good, we're going to see what haywire protocol we can get. I wish you could kind of skip just straight to the screen. 
Bank control of random for two turns. Okay, it's not three percent. Holy crap. Let's see who we get. This might pop our concealment, actually. I don't know if it does or not. I've never done this. Mind controlled. Somebody just randomly back there. Holy crap. Alright, let's see what Haywire protocol we get. If we take it, if, if we can mind control this unit because our hacking skill is so high, I'm just gonna laugh my ass off. It's probably gonna be like a 50 50 though, and I don't think I wanna take it. Yeah, it's only 56% chance. Or are we can sell 100% chance. Then we get aim and defensive stats. It's it's too risky, man. It's way too risky. You know what? We'll just save it and know that we have a guaranteed stun on that target. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We're not out of concealment, which I don't. I don't necessarily know how it works. But I assume we will be out of concealment soon. How much further are we needing to go? That's something I do need to know. Because we only have six turns left. About two two trains. That's not bad. We're moving about a train every turn. Are we mind controlled this unit? It's a viper. There's three vipers up here too. This might break concealment, I'm not sure. Okay, so now there's an interesting decision here. They didn't notice us not following with them. Interesting. First, let's check our Viper. You have, you have Poison Spit. It's only 3 to 5 damage. It's actually not much. Let's just spit on him. Is this how we really want to break our concealment, though? You have shredder ammo. I'll bring you up here. Hopefully, we can get a free shred on that mech. Can we get up here in half cover? Ooh, that's not bad. We're gonna find another pot, it looks like. Or we're finding that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's scary as fuck. Man. Okay, we'll change your plan. Definitely not gonna be doing that. Quarters confirmed. Moving out. I don't know how far the spit goes. Can we get here? We need to get here. All right, we see the objective as well. Five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. I think we're gonna spit on these units right here. Okay, it's a, only an adult human. Interesting. How is this not affecting all of them? Is my question. Uh, maybe I'm not understanding this correctly. How does this work? We'll just leave you there. You just stay there. We can attempt to hail our protocol this. What else can we do? We can launch a grenade. Double smoke grenades. That's a big ass radius, holy crap. If we do this, he's boned. Because he's in a really bad position. Can you even shoot that far? No. We might just take another turn to get set up, actually. I think we just take another turn to get set up. We have to take another turn to get set up. It would be an extremely big mistake, I think, to activate this turn. We're gonna be cutting this one pretty damn close, it looks like, especially if these guys decide to walk into us. Alright, we still have him mind control, which is good. I want to see where these units go. If they come to the right side of the train, we can isolate them and kill them really fast. Okay, where are they going? Are they about to find my unit? It's close. Okay, so those guys just didn't move. Where's the explosive that we could shoot? What? What 
is the explosive? Is it the train? Something on the train? Or is it just Oh, this is a, this thing itself is a giant explosive. That's scary. Our sniper gonna see so many fucking units right now. How much damage is this? Five to six? This is five to six as well. I think it'll be gas bomb. Friendly fire? Okay, this won't this won't hit the package on the inside. Could we get our alien friend to hack it? I doubt it. That's some pretty damn good damage with the poison on top of it. It also shredded his armor. There's so many enemies, I can't risk um, not having all my units with the turn, by the way. is why I didn't choose to uh, do that. Alright, that guy's flanked. We'll see where these guys go. Alright, he's leaping up behind this unit. So that mech needs to die. Alright, we have a flanking shot on this guy. We can kill him. Oh, this unit is still in concealment. Interesting. 88% chance on the mech. That's pretty good. How many units can we see? We can see one, two with our normal shot, so... I think we just shoot our free shot with the pistol first. This needs to be te textbook, by the way. If we fuck this up, this could mean the end for our friend. This would be a guaranteed kill. Can we do a tricky grenade here that wouldn't blow up the thing? No, it doesn't look like it can. That'd be a little too risky anyway. We can run a gun somewhere. If we kill these two units back here, it's pretty much a free run gun. We know that we can kill that guy whenever we want. We just have to come out of concealment. So I think we go ahead and take the kill on this guy. Because we don't need our unit flanked, obviously. Now he is no longer flanked, I believe. Or if he is flanked, it's just by this one unit over here. Hmm. Those sectoids are poisoned. I don't know how hard that poison is going to hit, though. Could we run up here? No. Sorry, it's taking so long, guys. It's just... Lots of stuff to consider right now. Not a very good shot. It's not going to get better if we get down where they are. I think we just come up here and get the free flanking shot on him. This guy's disposable, and if they shoot at him, it would only be good for us. So let's just go get the free flanking shot. Alright, we've we've made these units angry as well. I kind of expected that, but if they just shoot at somebody, that's fine. How is that a 65 fucking percent? At least you got it. I believe he's in poison, maybe? That would be nice if he was. 75 on that. That's a pretty good hit. We could move closer. Sniper. You see 100% on the Viper. We could take out that Viper. I don't know how much longer he's mind-controlled for is my main problem. How good of a shot could we get? That's the question. I, I, I think I'm just going to move here with the running gun to guarantee the kill on this guy. I could have moved here, but it's a little riskier. Hopefully they don't blow this thing up or I would just cry. Oh, we got the loot too. I didn't even care about the loot. I was just worried about... This should be like a 90% chance or something on this guy. It's 71. That's a pretty damn good hit. Alright, we took care of him, so this unit is no longer in, in fear of being flanked. Which means that I can bring you down to this full cover, and hopefully you'll see one of the sectoids in a flanking shot. Is he a 37? Oh, he's behind full cover. Makes sense. Might just try to stun that turret. Really nowhere we can go that's very beneficial here. We can move up a little bit. I think we just kill our own Viper. I mean, we've only had him for like, what, two turns? So let's not kill our own Viper. Let's just take out that Sectoid if we can. Nice. That's what I like to see. There's one more Sectoid. There's two Vipers plus this Viper. Now we can try this Haywire Protocol. If we could just stun it, 
That would be good enough for me. If we could take control of it, that'd be even better, but stunning it would be plenty fine. Wow, wow. 70% chance is pretty damn good percent. Oh, that's scary. Okay, we stunned him. Hopefully two turns, one is fine though. I just want it to not be able to take a shot. Best case scenario, the sectoid and the two vipers go for the viper that we have mind controlling. I don't really think anybody's in danger, so we can probably just get a free overwatch here. And that's the last person. That was the longest turn, sorry about that. Mind control lost. Okay, so that that's pretty that's pretty sad. He's poisoned for one, and I think he's still poisoned. Turret is still shut down. Good stuff. This guy's still poisoned. Next turn he dies, so we don't have to worry about him. Even if he mind controls, hopefully he doesn't panic. Mind control. Okay. He's gonna die next turn though, he's poisoned. What the hell? What the fuck is going on? That was weird, dude. This is so unfortunate this guy gets a turn. Oh, we fucking missed, too. That's so, so bad. He's gonna get a free tongue. A lick a tongue on us. I mean, we'll be able to kill him this turn, but that's not the point. The point is, he got a, he got a free tongue lick because we didn't kill him. Lots of bad stuff is happening. We got to do a lot of stuff real fast. Oh, okay. Fifty, eighty, ninety-one. I think we're gonna take that ninety-one shot right here. On, let's see. What can you do? Do you have a grenade? You do have a grenade. That's important. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do what I thought we were gonna do. Which is, take this 91, pray it works out. Alright, that's good. That's real good. I believe he has our shotgunner too, which is just unfortunate for him, to be honest. The turret's gonna be flanking us. Can we kill this turret? Well, we wanna put our own guy, man. Don't be silly. Is it clear? It's clear enough. Okay, so we can't see either of them. Can't throw any grenade. You're just gonna overwatch pretty much. Hmm. Is this in a poison? It doesn't show us being affected by it. How the hell do I want to handle this? This is such a difficult, difficult mission right now. I'm on it. Hmm. That's not good. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. We need to kill this turret. Who, who can kill this turret for me? Really? No. I'm pretty sure that guy's dead this turn though, so that's one person we don't have to worry about. You still have both of your turns, so if you come here you should be able to shoot this turret or grenade it. It's still shut down for another turn though, I'm pretty sure. We can't we couldn't get a shot from here. We don't have a run and gun. We do have a slice. A 98% into full cover slice, too. Let's do our 98% into full cover slice. Nice. That's what I like to see. Sectoid's gonna die this turn, so his mind control shouldn't even be a factor. 81% on the turret. Yes. Still scares me a little bit, but we should be fine. Who, who can we defense protocol? Anybody, really. I really want to do, not you, but yeah, you. 
Just in case our unit does get a turn, he really shouldn't with that guy being poisoned and only at one health, but worst thing that comes down, hopefully we can make him miss with his plus 30 defense. There's really nothing you can do. Just don't watch. Alright, so he's dead. Mind control broken. Ooh, good stuff. That was a little scary. This guy's probably gonna get Lickitunged again, if I had to guess. Alright, this guy's immune to the poison. Lickitung. He missed! Nice. There's still one more, right? Or is that the only unit? That's the only unit. Okay, that's not bad. We can complete this mission pretty easy then. Definitely pretty scary for a second there, though. So we'll just take our shotgunner in there, get the free 100% flank, and kill him. Since this is the last unit. But just in case it's not, I'm gonna take a covering position. Just for safety. Yep. It says that that's not everybody, because it would normally say all units neutralized. Oh, okay. Near your position. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charges detonate. Okay, so we just gotta move one more turn. I know, I know. The detonator is about to blow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Watch, he's like, I don't know how to hack. Nobody ever taught me. <laughs> I kind of wish we would have got a better, better person up here for it, but I mean, there's no reason not to go for broke here. Damn, son, almost had one of them. Like, man, I'm so good at this shit. I'm a natural. Remnant disposal. I've got the pack. Okie dokie. Only one person got hurt again, and it was the damn Lickitung once more. Hate it, man. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Look at this, though. Damn. Rangers are so strong. They're only so strong because of the other units, though. A Ranger alone is not very good. But with a bunch of other units to cover it and set up flanking areas for if people try to flank your unit, you can get a free Overwatch shot on them. They're incredibly powerful. That went pretty well. I think we lost. Probably a lightly wounded, I hope. If I had to guess, it'll probably be lightly wounded. That would be the hope, the dream, and the the true wish. I love this XCOM bandana. Or not bandana, um... Is that a bandana? No, bandana's for your head. What the hell is that? Is this still a bandana? I don't know. These are questions I don't have answers to. Alright, well that went really well, and after we see if we have any promotions, that's going to be the end of this episode. Gravely wounded bullshit. That's such bullshit. Let's go ahead and get Untouchable. Untouchable is really good. It says, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. So you pretty much get one free evasion. Gravely wounded, dude, he got hit once. We got a repeater, an auto loader, and a laser sight, and a couple of uh, good stuff. Excellent stuff-ups. work, Commander. Your New construction. I knew it. The resistance movement across the globe. That's so good. That's why you you gotta you gotta go out there. You gotta make the bacon. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you guys like to hit that like button and listen to you're enjoying the series and all that good stuff. If you guys are, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know whatever did you guys need me to know. Also, if you want your name as one of the characters, please feel free to leave a comment. I will name you after whomever you wish to be. Um, I'll, I, any of the four classes, I'll customize your character as well if you like. And go colonize and all that good stuff. Planets. But, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Recommend it to anyone who may be interested. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn world. See you guys.